Ready to go. Here's the rookie right fielder, Dylan Cruz, trying to pick up his first knock in the big leagues. As he turns on the rubber, and with that good live arm delivers. Edge of the zone for a strike, and we're underway in Pittsburgh. That's out to center field. Cruz under it. Hauls it in for the out. And there's one down. Here's Dave Martinez lineup for the Nationals. A very athletic offensive group with speed spread throughout this offense. Yeah, and it's so important that they have patient and quality at bats because the key is to get on base. If they do that, then they can create a whole lot of havoc on the base pass, get runners around the score, and then that's going to get you some good pitches to hit as well. So a very athletic team. Oh, now this ball is driven into the left center field gap. Around second now, going for three. And he's got himself a triple. Jose Tena with his first major league hit. And this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget. Congrats. Yeah, great moment for him and his family. A guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen. And when it does, it can kind of be overwhelming, Boog. You still have to stay locked in on the game, but it's great when you could take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you've worked to get here. So one gone with a runner at third. Next is the designated hitter, Andres Chaparro. That oh. misses, and it's one to no. Oh, no. Tenna stands at third with one gone in the inning. Delivers outside. Oh, that one finds a corner. And now two and two. Out there on the mound, he's setting the tone early with the fastball. 98 miles per hour up on the scoreboard. That one misses. And that's ball three. Liner stayed at first. That at bat is a positive sign, even though it probably doesn't feel like it. He hit the ball hard, but it doesn't always work out in your favor. Sometimes a defender is there to make a play. Next to hit for the Nats, James Wood. Looking for his first big league hit right here. Ball. Just missed. One ball, no strike. Wings here and blasts one left field. Hops over the wall, and that's an automatic double. As a run scores, so he gets two milestones with that hit, his first big league knock, and he drives in his first run as well. Yeah, you love to get both of those out of the way with just one swing of the bat, and it makes the special moment even more special. It's not just an individual accomplishment when you're also driving in a run for your team. That's an at-bat he's never going to forget. And now it's Juan Yepes. And the pitch a little bit low. Ball one. One run across in the frame so far. And we're just getting started here in the top of the first. And that's outside. And the count is 2-0. Inside just missed. Boog, he never moved because he never had time to. With that kind of velocity, you'd prefer that pitcher work away. Oh, 
and now three and one. When you throw a fastball three by one. a guy like that, I imagine it's got to feel incredible. Look for him to throw it again at some point. Next offering is in for a strike. Pretty rare location right there, right down the middle. This guy paints the edges. I'm not sure if you're going to see that pitch again as a hitter. And here it comes. Swing and a foul ball at the plate. They'll do it again. At the belt and fires. Swing and a pop up. Foul territory for the catcher. Brings it in for the third out. So they pick up a run on two hits, no errors, and a man left. On to the bottom of the first. It's the Nationals one, and the Pirates coming up. Back here at PNC Park and towing the slab, Mitchell Parker. Singing, he's kind of a road warrior, yeah? I definitely say so. You know, some guys shrink a little bit on the road. They're so used to just you know, having the comforts of being at home and having the fans behind them. But this guy seems to thrive in adversity and being in some hostile environment. So when you have a player like this on your team that goes out there and competes, you definitely like your chances away from your home ballpark. The wine of the pitch. Nick Gonzalez leading things off and takes a strike. Parker, 24 years old, and he's one of the few players in Major League Baseball born in New Mexico. That catches the outside corner, and it's 0-2. Back toward him with the breaking ball, just got the corner. There's nothing you can really do with that. Yepes. And he takes it himself for the out. We take a check of the Pirates lineup put together by manager Derek Shelton. Someone who makes things happen for them, in part with his legs, O'Neill Cruz. Yeah, Boogie's leading them in batting average and RBI, so delivering in a number of ways. And you know what? If he comes up with the bases empty, good chance of getting on base, set up his teammates. If he comes up with guys on, man, he yeah. can drive them in. Just a solid contributor for this lineup. Brian Reynolds in the box now. No balls and a strike. Next pitch is outside. One, one. one out, base is empty. Swing and a pop-up. Garcia gets under it. He's got it, and there's two away. Batting third, the center fielder, O'Neal. Two outs, base is empty. Up next for the Pirates, O'Neal Cruz. That's in for a strike. Two out spaces empty. High fly ball out to left field. Wood should have this one. Brings it in. And that's the inning. Top of the second. Now here is C.J. Abrams. C.J. Abrams. The pitch. Swing and a foul straight back. Righty to the plate. Gets the call. And the count is 0-2. No ball. Two strikes. On the ground and it hits the bag fair ball now he'll turn for second and his first big league hit is a double CJ Abrams with his first major league hit and this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget congrats yeah great moment for him and his family a guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen and when it does can kind of be overwhelming, Boog. You still have to stay locked in on the game, but 
it's great when you could take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you've worked to get here. And now it's Kiebert Ruiz. Get out of here, DC. Right side. Get on your Snags it on the run. Runner tags at second, and he's in safely at third with one out. Batting it. The second baseman, Luis Garcia. And now it's Luis Garcia. This is all about situational hitting. It's crucial in this spot. Do whatever it takes to put the ball in play, and hopefully you find a gap in the defense. That one finds the corner. That's strike one. Abrams takes his lead at third with one away. Next offering is down low. One, one ball, ball, one strike. One strike. Making the calls behind the plate in this one is Woody Keller. Yeah, and Woody does a pretty good job back there, Boog. He's got a pretty fair strike zone most of the time. Maybe some inconsistency here or there, but usually he's back there doing a solid job. Fans don't really understand the familiarity and relationship players and coaches have with umpires. I mean, you see them a lot. Yeah, Boog, they're all out there trying to do their best no, and perform at a high level. So when you respect that, I think, over time, you can develop a relationship with them. Right-hander kicks deals. Ball. And another ball. As Go the down. game has moved along, we see more and more information supplied by teams about the umpires. I've been in clubhouses where they have pictures of all four umpires, nicknames, hometowns, and as well hobbies listed, just so you can kind of small talk the umpire a little bit. <laughs> that's great. And that's the first strikeout of his major league career. And it could be the first of many if he meets the goals he set for himself and the expectations others have for him. He doesn't want to just win games. He wants to dominate at this level. Do you think young pitchers could sometimes get too caught up in trying to rack up K's early in their career? Boog, I think they can. It's kind of like a hitter that doesn't have power. The thrill is still hitting a ball over the fence. And so for a guy, even if he doesn't have power stuff or strikeout stuff, a strikeout is still something that makes him stick his chest out a little bit further. Next offering in there for a strike. That's strike two. Two outs and a runner at third. Here at the top of the second. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. Hit in the air, center field. Cruz heads towards it. Makes the grab, and that's the inning. So they work around the leadoff double. We go to the bottom of inning number two. It's the Nationals one and the Pirates nothing. Back here in Pittsburgh, bottom what half of Pirates? inning number two. And now it's Andrew McCutcheon. Andrew McCutcheon. Parker back to work. That one inside. One and oh. Hit pretty well in the air out to center. Going back on this one. Makes the catch for the out. And there's one down. Batting fifth. The first baseman. Here's Rowdy Telez. That one finds the zone, and that's strike one. Swing and a high fly ball down the left field line, but hooking foul. One down, base is empty. Gets a piece, and it stays 0-2. And now the lefty. 
Flails at that one. It's a strikeout. Well, that right there is just a pitcher's pitch. Tailing away from the hitter, low and away with some good action at the end. You know, even if he gets the bat to that ball, it's probably just a weak ground ball to the opposite side. Tell you what, that's a tremendous two-strike pitch. The Nationals leading by a run, bottom half of inning number two. Close, but called a ball. And now it's even one and one. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. Two down, nobody on. High fly ball out into left center field. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. That is the inning. Offense held a check there. We played two full. It's the Nationals one and the Pirates nothing. Top half of the Leading third inning. Nationals. Now it's the right fielder, the right Dylan Cruz. Three. And there's one Dylan. thing on his mind this at bat. Three. Getting that first hit at the big league level. Ah. And there's the strike. And that one is inside ball one. And that gets the top of the zone for a strike. Fouls it off, still one and two. Well, he got challenged with a good fastball right there. Just couldn't catch up. The wind of the pitch. Got him. Leadoff man retired here in the third. Well, just excellent location on that inside fastball. Really locked him up. And it's a hitter. It's not typically what you're looking for. You're trying to protect away and then in. So you can be a little bit tardy with two strikes. Hard to tell if he was fooled or if he thought it would be called a ball. But either way, that's a really nice pitch. Tenna stands in now and watches strike one. Swing and a miss. Nice changeup. No ball. Two strikes. That one misses. And a count one and two. I don't think he was trying to miss by that much in an 0-2 count. Just tried to overthrow that pitch. Close oh. one doesn't get the call. Two, two. It's two and two. Oh. Got him. Outside pitch got the better of him that time. Tasked with one, two, and three to start this inning, but no trouble so far. I'm sure he'd love to strike out the side here. Make a little statement, but you got to be composed in this spot. Focus on getting this next guy. You got two good outs. Want to get the third one and avoid the middle of that lineup coming up with a base runner. Could become dangerous. Two outs. And a foul ball. Off the mark there, and it's two and one. Two one. Slice down the right side. The pitch. Towards first. That's a base hit. Makes the turn and heads for second. The tag. No. See. Andres Chaparro with his first major league hit. And this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget. Congrats. Yeah, great moment for him and his family. A guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen. And when it does, it can kind of be overwhelming, Boog. You still have to stay locked in on the game, but it's great when you can take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you've worked to get here. So a man aboard, and next will be the cleanup hitter. James Wood doubled his first time up. Ball and one. ball one. 
And the strategy of winning a ball game when you could make that pitcher work a little more expose himself by throwing pitches that could be the key to winning perhaps later on. So good job of extending this inning getting a knock with two outs to bring the number four hole hitter up. Kicks and fires oh, and that clips the inside corner. Swing and a miss. It's a ball in two strikes. And he really sells the changeup with that arm action. Swings and misses. It's a strikeout. Pulled the string on the changeup. I think the key is arm action on the changeup. When you can sell it like a fastball, you drop the velocity, you get the swing and miss, and you walk off the field. And we're back Leading as off. we go to the last of the, the third. third Leading off, number 19. Three, hold on. The pitch. Three. Tap of the zone, and it's called a strike. Now, the key to his success is getting ahead early in the count. He cannot afford to go deep in the counts. Doesn't have a Three. ton of swing and miss stuff, so he's going to have to work efficiently. The 0 2. Just misses the mark outside the zone. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Here comes a pinch. Foul ball still a one and two count. Flew open a little bit with that front shoulder, but was able to slow his back down just enough to make contact with that pitch. Here, Keep here. the bat alive. Almost got him. Wouldn't oh, chase God. that time. High fly ball near the pole. That one is foul. That was a nice bid right there to try to tie up this ball game. Just couldn't keep it from bending foul. He looked locked in on that swing. Pitcher better be careful with him right now. Swung on, popped up on the infield. Yep, it's under it. Corrals it. One up, one down. Batting it, the catcher, Henry. And here's the catcher, Henry Davis. Kind of a throwback. No batting gloves. Right. Fastball for a strike. That's excellent location on the fastball right there early in this game. If he can do that all game, should be a good outing for him. Next offering is in for a strike. I understand you want to try to gauge that guy's fastball, but you also have to be aggressive and ready to hit in your zone. Now you're in a tough spot. Ball. Home team down a run. You're in the last half of the third. Pitch one, in the two. dirt, and it's one and two. Still just the second batter of the inning, and on the mound, he's already thrown 13 pitches. They got him working hard out there. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Really love the pitch sequence right there. I'm telling you what, pitcher and catcher are on the same page Back right now. Not shortstop. Holy God. Brilliant. So next to the plate for Pittsburgh, Alika Williams. That one finds the zone, and that is strike one. The lefty fires. One, Not one. close with that one. Ball one. And he takes a strike. That one lifted to left. Wood makes the play. And that is the third out of the inning.
And welcome back to the ballpark. Stepping in, Juan Yepes. Juan Yepes. The right-hander back to work. Now this is in the air down the line. De La Cruz has this one sized up. And a quick out number one. Here's C.J. Abrams to hit. Doubled in his first A.B. Boog, one really cool moment I remember at PNC Park is the 2006 Home Run Derby during All-Star no. Weekend. David Ortiz and Ryan Howard oh, no. each hit homers into the Allegheny River on the fly. Really awesome to watch. And it finds its way through for a hit. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. Wasting no time. He's two for two now on the night. And just a triple and home run away from the cycle. Seriously, we're starting with this already. Here's the catcher. Keep runner on the goal. Pitch misses. Throw there. Safe. You know, nights like this when it seems harder to score, I like the call to put him in motion and try to steal the base. Ball's not carrying, no home run so far, so trying to manufacture some offense like this may be the way to go. One out, the runner at second, top half of inning number four. And a pitch. Oh. And it is two and one. The healthy cut, tough pitch at 98, but a really good pass at the ball. And the righty deals. Swing and a miss, struck him out. Pulled the string on the changeup. He's really good hitting the baseball the other way. So credit the pitcher for having him out in front of that pitch. Clearly he had him full. Luis Garcia digging in for the Nationals. He struck out swinging at his first at bat. Fought off foul. Good eye in that spot. And a base hit up the middle. Rounds third, headed for the plate. He'll score easily. It's 2 nothing. So he gets two milestones with that hit, his first big league knock, and he drives in his first run as well. Yeah, you love to get both of those out of the way with just one swing of the bat, and it makes the special moment even more special. It's not just an individual accomplishment when you're also driving in a run for your team. That's an at-bat he's never going to forget. Two outs, runner at first. And now the center fielder. This to center field. Diving, gets down, could be extra bases. And that's a two out double. The right field at the three. Dylan three. So the Nets lineup turns over. Dylan Cruz digging in for the Nationals. Swinging a foul back. That's out of play. Second and third. Two down. Go, 
strike two. Moving in the bullpen. Carmen Majinski loosening up in case he's called upon by Derek Shelton. Holderman also getting ready. Kicks and deals. Knocks that one away and we'll do it again. Bounce to the right. Telez takes it himself. That ends the inning and they limit the damage. But the RBI single pushes across a run. It's now a 2 0 ball game. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Ready to go, Ready to go. bottom four. Well, now it's the second baseman, the second Nick baseman. Gonzalez. Nick Gonzalez. The wind and the pitch. That's right through there for a strike. Oh, he's looking great so far. It helps with over 80% of your first pitches or strikes. He might be able to go the distance if he keeps this up. That's a ball. That misses, and the count even one, one and ball. one. One strike. And another ball. The next pitch misses. Now three and one. Expect for that guy to come right at you with a fastball, something in the zone, because he does not want to allow the leadoff ball. Fouls one away, and now three and two. Instead of letting the hitter get his arms extended. Tied him up a little bit, slightly up, slightly in. Outside, and that is ball four. Well, that could be a tone setter for the inning. Four straight pitches, and the leadoff batter's on base. We'll see if the next guy waits until there's a called strike before he takes the bat off the shoulder. Ryan Reynolds here. Flied out his first time. The tag, and got him at second. That oh. misses. Ball one. Tried to back door with that slider right there, but just missed off the plate. Good pitch, though. There's a swing and a drive. Tattooed and gone. And they're on the scoreboard. It's 2-1. That one just sounded different. And might have been the loudest moment yet. Man, my ears are ringing. I can feel that swing from the boot. you have a team that hits home runs at such a high rate they can get back in the ball game so quickly that's why that leadoff walk was extremely costly here's O'Neill Cruz fly to left his first time and that is in for a strike, going one. Well, here's a deal not everyone remembers. Cruz was actually signed by the Dodgers in 2015, but Los Angeles dealt him to Pittsburgh in 2017 for Tony Watson. That's a rare trade the Dodgers just might regret. No, outside. outside. And the count is one and one. One down, base is empty. Swing and a miss, struck him out. Just a great slider right there, and I think the key for pitchers and what hitters don't want to see is if a pitcher misses with that pitch, that he misses off the edge of the strike zone rather than in the middle of the strike zone. And right there, excellent execution, and it finished up in a perfect spot. Here's Andrew McCutcheon to hit. He's 0 for 1. He swings and fouls one off. McCutcheon measures 5 feet 10 inches, 190 pounds. He's usually in right field, but today he's getting the DH treatment. Two down, nobody on. 
just off the outside edge. And that is ball one. Well, a nice day off for him, not having to jog out to the outfield. Gets to be in the DH spot. Be curious to see how he keeps himself in a rhythm, not playing defense. Got him swinging. He swung over top of the curveball. Box draw a bit closer on this long ball. And this is now a 2-1 ball game. You're watching Major League Baseball exclusively on the show. Back here at PNC Park, top five, John Shambi with Chris Singleton. And leading it off, Jose Tena. Jones back to work. And misses inside. Ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. So a runner aboard to start the inning. The batter, the designated hitter. So Andres now here's the DH. Chaparro. Andres Chaparro, one for two. Out to short. Nice stop from his backside. Ana yeah. Gonzalez for one. Yeah. Telez, two. Well, off the bat, we thought that was going to be a single, not a double play. Just a great job. Dives, knocks it down, feeds it to the second baseman. And a nice turn around the bag. Really great job by those two. James Wood digging in for the Nationals. And first offering is fouled off. Two outs. Now a high fly ball out to left center. Cruz heads towards it. He's got it. And that is out number three. Here in Pittsburgh, we head to the bottom of the fifth. And here's the first baseman, Rowdy Telez. The pitch. That misses. And that's ball one. Left hand hitter waits. Ground ball right side. In plenty of time to first. And that's the first out in the now bottom of the fifth. Right fielder, Brian De La Cruz. And now the right fielder, Brian De La Cruz. Well, oh. on the mound, very efficient. Able to produce an outcome, it seems like, within the third or fourth pitch of just about every at bat. Right through there for a strike. The Nets up by a run. Last half of inning number five. That misses the zone. Two and one. And another ball. Here's an opportunity to do some damage and perhaps unlock this offense. Three one count. Be ready to turn on a fastball. Inside ball four. Ball four. It. It's tough after falling behind a hitter, two balls and no strikes, but now Freakman. at least he gets a fresh start yeah, against yeah. a new batter, but Three he needs to get back into the strike zone and start pitching with conviction. And that one fouled off. Man at first, one away. Line 
line drive, base hit. Lead runner makes the turn at second. Here comes the throw, and the throw's offline, safe at third. Now back, the catcher, Hedley, Gainsett. Next to hit, Henry Davis. Struck out swinging his first time. Pitch no, misses inside. 1-0. and oh. Lefty out of the stretch. Runners at first and third. Roll to short. Could be two. Underhanded to second. Got him. The double play cuts down the potential tying run. They made it look easy, but it started with a nice feed to the second baseman from the shortstop. Perfect turn, and they're out of this jam. Top of the sixth He's inning. Here's Juan Yepes. The first baseman, Juan Yepes. The why to kick the pitch. Lifted in the air, right field. Moving under this one. And makes the grab. And there's one down. The battle, number five, shortstop, CJ. Up now for Washington, CJ Abrams. Oops. And there's a strike. Good heater at 98. No ball. One strike. And a big swing and a miss. No ball. Base is empty one away. And we're in the top half of the sixth. Ball Pitch one. misses there. One and two to count. One ball. Well, the good thing two so strike. far is that he hasn't issued any free passes. Unfortunately, they're making pretty good contact. So not getting the swings and misses and making that defense work behind him. Swing and a miss, and he got him. And now two gone. Now batting. Two Hebert. outs, base is empty. Hebert. Now it's going to be Ruiz. Hebert Ruiz. First pitch doesn't find the zone. One ball, no strike. That's down and in. Two down, nobody on. And that drops in for a strike. He's been able to go inside as well as outside, effectively working both sides of the plate in this at bat. Fouls one off, two and two. Two outs. Swings and misses. And a nice inning of work there as he sets him down. One, two, three. Three up, three down that time. Nine, one, and two scheduled to hit in the home half of the sixth. It's the Nationals two and the Pirates one. Bottom of the sixth inning at the plate for Pittsburgh. Alika Williams. Alika Williams. And he deals. Right through there for a strike. Next offering is in for a strike. And here it comes. He fouls it off. We'll do it again. And a pitch. 
Swing and a miss. Got him to go up the ladder for the K. Oh, that high four seam fastball has become such a great pitch for pitchers to finish hitters off. They're trying to stay back with two strikes, make sure that they can handle something off speed, and just with good spin rate, good rotation through the zone, elevate it a little bit, get a lot of swings and misses, and that's a really nice job right there. Gonzalez up to the plate for the third time as he looks at one down low. to one home team down a run here in the bottom of the sixth this to third can't field it cleanly not in time great effort but it's an infield hit Nick Gonzalez with his first major league hit and this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget congrats yeah, great moment for him and his family. A guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen. And when it does, it can kind of be overwhelming, dude. You still have to stay locked in on the game, but it's great when you can take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you worked to get here. Up next for the Pirates, Brian Reynolds. He's already homered here in this one. Bases makes the turn at second, heads for third. Here comes Gonzalez. Relay throw. He'll score and they tie it. It's 2 2. Well, there you go. The RBI machine. Another clutch run scoring it back. Yeah, he's been so good in these situations. Call it clutch if you want, but his resume speaks for itself. One out, runner at second. And the batter now, O'Neill Cruz. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. Reynolds leads off second with one gone in the inning. Late with the swing there. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Robert Garcia, the lefty, looks to be getting himself ready. Number 48 getting cranked up as well. Man at second. One, two. And that just misses. Man, oh man, I don't know how you take that pitch. That's as close as it gets. One out and a runner at second. And that's a little bit high. And that's ball three. Andrew McCutcheon to bat next. Three balls, two strikes to count. Gets a piece and stays alive. And the pitch. That ball is foul and the pressure is building. At the belt and fires. Stays alive. Payoff pitch. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Also really good at bat. What I like about this guy, his bat stays in the zone for a long time. Gives him the ability to foul off tough pitches. Battling here as he fouls it away. Runner at second here. One gone. Hey, he goes down looking. Most guys are very aggressive when they see the stakes out there on the base paths and can't understand why he wasn't ready to swing the bat. You've got to be ready to swing the bat in a situation like that with the go-ahead run in scoring position.
So here's the cleanup hitter, Andrew McCutcheon. First pitch, and he just misses. Runner at second, two down. And another ball. Out to short, Abrams. Tosses the first inning over, and it could have been worse. But the Pirates strike on this run-scoring double. 2-2 game. It's Major League Baseball, and it's on the show. And welcome back to the ballpark. New inning getting started. Here's the second baseman, Luis Garcia. And the right hander back to work. That one to first. And he handles it himself for the out. Well, he didn't recognize changeup earlier enough. Got out in front a little bit, rolled over on it, and beat it into the ground. Here's the center fielder. Bounce to third, and he picks it up in foul territory. One down, base is empty. Misses off the plate, and that's ball one. One ball, one strike. And that one fouled off. The punch out there, two down. Now it's the right fielder, Dylan Cruz. 0 for 3. A fly out, a ground out, and a strikeout. Fly ball to right. Dylan Cruz makes the play, and it's out number 3. So they go quietly there, midway in inning number 7, and it's time to stretch. We are tied 2-2. They hand the ball over to a new arm, Robert Garcia. Robert Garcia. And now it's Rowdy Telez. For the Pirates, the first baseman, Rowdy Telez. The pitch. Just missed. Garcia, a 6-4 lefty. He features a four-seam fastball, a changeup, and he works in a slider. Next yeah. offering is in for a strike. Oh, and another oh. ball. Two. Comes up empty. That's strike two. Two ball, two strike. And a pitch. Got him swinging. Up next to the Pirates. And now the right fielder, the right Ryan Dela Cruz. Dela Cruz. Way Whoa. inside, gets out of the way. All tied up here at the bottom of the seventh. Next Whoa. offering way upstairs. Wouldn't ball chase three. that time. Three ball, no strike. The pitch. Swing and a pop off in foul ground. Tenna drifts towards it, hauls it in for the out. That was a good hard fastball with some yeah, nice that. ride up the in the zone baseman. right there. Hitter yeah, looked like he was on it, but I think three that velocity at the end just beat him. Instead of a line drive or something hit deep, it's a pop up and an easy out for the defense. Number 19 in the box here. Let's that one go one for a ball. ball. No strike. There's ah. a strike. 
Kicks and fires. Swing and a miss. And the count. One and two. That one just misses. That's off the mark, and it's three and two. Henry Davis up next. The pitch. Into center and a base hit. And that extends the inning. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. That's about as textbook as it gets. Got his stride and load out of the way early. He stayed inside that ball and squared it up out front. Man, that was like he was in the cage hitting off a tee. So two down, Henry Davis, the next pirate to hit. That one's in there, 0 1. 0 1. Two outs. Ground ball left side. And it's through for a hit. And that moves the go ahead run to scoring position with two gone. Henry Davis with his first major league hit. And this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget. Congrats. Yeah, great moment for him and his family. A guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen. And when it does, can kind of be overwhelming, dude. You still have to stay locked in on the game, but it's great when you can take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you worked to get here. So next to the plate for Pittsburgh, Alika Williams. On the ground as he checked his swing. Grabs it barehanded, throw to first, on the money, nice play. Pirates strand a couple, and this game is still tied at two and two. Welcome back, and a new arm on the mound to start the eighth. Carmen Majinski. He's been so good against lefties. Jose Tena digging in for the Nationals. The third baseman, number eight, Jose. The pitch. And that's in for a strike. Ball. Breaking ball inside. One, one and more. one. And that one upstairs. Really been able to slow down the game tonight with his at bats and the biggest one he's had so far. He doesn't look anxious at all. The 2 1. Check swing. Did he go? Yes, he did. Keeps the at bat going with a foul ball. Definitely got the hitter conscious of the pitch inside. Really think the outer half is open. Swing and a high fly ball to left. Pulls it down and he makes the catch. And there's one down. As good as he's seeing the ball out of the pitcher's hand, you cannot hang a breaking ball right there. Lucky it stayed in the ballpark. Andres Chaparro digging in for the Nationals. One for three. Fastball for a strike. Activity in Pittsburgh's bullpen. Paul Skeens preparing to come on if needed. Chapman, a left-hander, also throwing. And that one is lifted in the air. Reynolds gets under it. And it's caught for the out. So next will be the four hole hitter for the Nationals, James Wood.
Swings yep. through that one for strike one. In the on deck circle, you really want to use that opportunity to see some pitches and time up the fastball. Last thing you want to do is miss a good hittable fastball early in the count. Right handed reliever. And now one and two. It's getting squeezed a little bit here late. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Two down. Nobody on. Out towards right center. That's well struck. That's back. And that one's gone. His first homer of the year. And the Nats have the lead. It's 3-2. Good hitter gets pitch recognition early. He saw exactly where that was going to be. The challenge, not get over anxious and come out of your swing. He stayed on it and got all of it. Two outs, nobody on. Juan Yepes getting ready to hit. That's a little bit low. 1 0. Two down, base is empty, but one run across, and we're in the top of the eighth. Next offer in there for a strike. One and two. He clearly was sitting on a fastball right there and just ended up out in front of the slider. Hey, you can't fault him for his commitment. Now he's just going to have to battle with two strikes. Two, two. Upstairs. That okay. just misses, and the count is filled up. Here's a rocket out to left. Reynolds falls it in to end the inning. One in the inning for the Nationals on the solo homer. It's now a 3-2 ball game. It's Major League Baseball on the show. Back now, new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth, Zach Brixey. These are the spots where relievers really make a name for themselves. Late and close. There's not much margin for error, but at the same time, there's a reason they're put in these situations. Here comes a pitch. Gonzalez in the box now. Take strike one. Action in the pen down there. Kyle Finnegan, the closer, is getting loose. Swing and a ball lined out towards center. Dives, but it's off his glove. Base hit. Off to a good start with a leadoff nod. A couple of hits in a row for him here. You we'll often hear the phrase short to it, long through it. And that's a great example of it right there. Got the barrel in the hitting zone early, squared it up with the well timed swing, and came away with a beautiful line drive in the center field. And now a chance to maybe get creative on offense with good speed on first. No outs, runner at first. At the plate for Pittsburgh, Brian Reynolds. Swinging a foul over the screen and back out of play. Right-hander kicks, deals. And fouled off. With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of the double play right here. 0-2 oh now. And a swing and a miss. Now one away. That right there is one of those breaking balls that you swing through and you feel like you should have done something with it or at least spoiled it away. But when it's breaking in on you like that, if the spin is tight enough, it can actually tie you up. Up next for the Pirates, O'Neill Cruz. 
0 for 3 with two strikeouts and a flyout. And ball. the first pitch misses for ball one. one. Ball. No strike. Trying to hold a one run lead here in the bottom half of the eighth inning. Pickoff throw. Gonzalez yep, back on a dive. Left hand batter waits. That catches the top part of the zone, and it's one and one. And a breaking ball drops in for a strike. That one the other way. Abrams off balance feed. There's one. Not in time at first. It's a fielder's choice. Well, an aggressive slide at second base, but it was legal. I like it because you're trying to break up the double play, and it looked like the slide impacted the throw a little bit. Nice job by the base runner. So now it's the four hole hitter, Andrew McCutcheon. Fastball in for a strike. It's 0 and 1. Well, that's a big run over there at first base. He's got some speed. Let's see if they send him. Cruz off the of first with two away. And he's down 0 2 as he swings through it. More and more guys are looking to slug regardless of the count. In this situation, we'll keep a close eye on his approach. And a swing and a miss. That ends the frame. Sometimes he wears the emotion on the sleeve, but that's okay as long as he's getting results. And right there, thrilled with the punch out to get out of a jam. We go to the ninth. Now it's the shortstop, C.J. Abrams. C.J. Abrams. Majinski back to work. Ball one. The shortstop takes the ball. That's inside. Just off the inside edge. Rio. That one finds the zone, and three the count one. is three and one. And a foul ball. And a payoff pitch. Swing and a high fly ball out there towards left field. And there's one away. Now that the catcher, Hebert. Hebert Ruiz, Ruiz will hit next. First offering, and it just misses. And another ball. Two ball. One no run strike. game here in the top of the ninth. That's in there, and it's two and one.
Next outside, offering ball. is outside. Right through there for a strike. Hold down. One down, base is empty. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. Looked like a questionable call in that spot. He even seemed a little surprised it went his way at the plate. But as a hitter, you'll take that all day. Now it's the second baseman, Luis Garcia. Check swing. He went too far, and it's a strike. One strike. On the ground, right side, four, six, three, double play, and the inning is over. Nothing doing here this half. Five, six, and seven will lead things off in the bottom of the ninth. It's the Nationals three and the Pirates two. Now on the mound for the Nationals, Kyle Finnegan. A chance at his first save of the year. Number 57, Kyle Finnegan. Well, one run game. And now the first baseman, Rowdy Telez. 0 for 3 with two strikeouts and a ground out. And he deals. Swing and a miss. And it's 0 and 1. That oh. one missed. Two Way one. outside. Now two balls and a strike. Well, an interesting situation. One swing, you can tie up the ball game. But if you're patient and work a walk, then you bring the game-winning run to the plate. This one popped up. Foul ground first base side. Puts it away for the out. Got the pitch that he wanted. Just a little bit quick. Front shoulder open. Backside collapsed a little bit. And the launch angle, not where he needed it to be. Brian De La Cruz digs in now. And there's no doubt that they'll feed off the energy from this crowd, right? I mean, yeah. I'd say the intensity level has gone up a few notches for sure. Fought off foul. And that one fouled off. Swing and a ground ball out to short. Sneaks through base hit. And the tying run is on base here in the bottom of the ninth. Brian De La Cruz with his first major league hit. And this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget. Congrats. Yeah, great moment for him and his family. A guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen. And when it does, it can kind of be overwhelming, dude. You still have to stay locked in on the game, but it's great when you can take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you've worked to get here. Derek Shelton bringing a bat off the bench now. Isaiah kiner falefa And this is a big at bat coming, boo. Definitely a little added pressure on him here. And fouled off. Try to keep the game alive here in the bottom of the ninth. To third. Sneaks through. Base hit. Quick throw back in. Lead runner holds it second with one gone. Isaiah Kiner Falefa with his first major league hit. And this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget. Congrats. Yeah, great moment for him and his family. A guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen. And when it does, it can kind of be overwhelming, dude. You still have to stay locked in on the game, but it's great when you can take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you've worked to get here. 
with the tying run and scoring position in the bottom of the ninth. And now the catcher comes up to him. Henry Davis. Outside low. Ball one. Well, they're applying pressure. Quality at bats. Quality swings right now. And see this offense doing it one player to the next showing a lot of fight right now and they're making it difficult for the back end of this bullpen to close out this game in there at the knees and the count one and one righty delivers and a count one and two so the tying run at second fights that one away still one and two kicks and deals oh. and the one two misses to even the count no we used to say if you're scared get a dog throw the fastball man if you're scared get a dog man just get a dog swings and misses struck him out gets talked about a lot but a good now high fastball in a two strike situation oh it's just become such a problem for hitters in more recent years but with all of the emphasis by pitchers on developing that spin rate having a good grip on the baseball those high fastballs they kind of look like to the hitter that they're rising even though they're not but they're not decreasing in velocity and foul ball Two on, two outs. That one finds the zone, and it's 0-2. Well, so many hard-throwing relievers in the game these days, you would think that hitters have made the adjustment, but I don't know if you ever get used to it. Just pumping gas out of the bullpen. So hard to play catch-up. One strike away. That one way outside, and it's 2-2. Two and two. chase that time so okay. both runners should be on the move here on the full count pitch yeah this is a good chance to tie up this ball game see if he can find some open grass in the outfield two outs and they're okay. all loaded up well, the stage has been set for this offense, Boo. It's all about creating opportunities, and this is one of them right here. Jose Ferrer takes over on the mound. A tough spot to make your major league debut with the bases loaded. Man, no kidding. Trial by fire, I guess, but i got to think they would have rather given him a chance to make his debut in a less stressful situation, and all I can say is best of luck. It's out. In the box now. Take strike one. Tough situation right here. So important as a pitcher to get ahead in the count as he did right there. Up the middle. And that is the ball game. Nice work out of the bullpen for that first MLB win, boo. They turned to him when they didn't have the lead. He kept things steady, and he's rewarded with the W. A 3-2 final score in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Shambi. We'll see you soon.